Hello everyone, it's Lindsay, and today I have week two of Project Life for you guys. Uh, week one's actually gonna come out, I believe, after this because it was a design team uh, layout that I did for um, the wild hair kit, so there's just a little sneak peek at week one, so it's gonna be a little bit out of order, but that's okay. Um, for week two, I'm just using some products um, that I have in my stash and want to use up. So um, week two, I didn't have a whole lot going on, and so I'm only gonna stick with one 12 by 12 rather than two 12 by 12s and we're gonna make that work um, what I have over here is when I ordered my album for project life and my pocket pages I also ordered the gather edition of cards and so these are the Maggie Holmes cards and I will link everything down below. I also have some from a past collection. I'm not sure what these are from. I've just had them in my stash forever, so I just put everything here. Uh, and then I went through and kind of pulled out some cards that I think I'm gonna use for the layout today. And being Maggie Holmes, I went ahead and also pulled out um, my Maggie Holmes uh, die cuts. So I have some that I've purchased. I have some that I bought like the digital file and then print and cut. Um, so those are in there. I also have the Maggie Holmes sticker sheet, some more stickers that I got from Tuesday mornings. I also pulled out some Felicity Jane uh, alpha stickers. And so we're just going to kind of put this together. One thing I already ran into is that um, some of my cards are square corners and then some are round corners. So I went ahead and backed everything from last week with white pattern or white copy paper if it was a pattern on the background. That way when I slide these cards in, it's just white peeking around them rather than a pattern paper. And so I'm hoping that will work out okay. I'm also still trying to figure out how to print my photos. So like this was slightly smaller than three by four. And so we're just gonna make this work. So let me go ahead and put you on fast forward and we will put together this Project Life layout. Okay, so I went ahead and laid out all the photos and cards where I think they're gonna go on this layout. And here I'm attaching my three by four photos to the back of the cards from last week. If you print your photos the correct size, you do not have to do this, <laughs> but I'm still trying to get that down. It's sized correctly in Photoshop and then when I print it, they are not correct. So I've got to play around with that a little bit more, but um, the, for this top right hand corner, I have these two four by six photos. One is a before and after of Connor's broken tooth. And another one is the boys with my sister in her dental office. And I wanted to include a lot of photos for this week without going into two 12 by 12, um, pages. I wanted to just stick to one. So I'm going to put these two photos together and create a little hinge um, that you can flip up. I also didn't really think that, you know, we needed a big old shot of Connor's open mouth <laughs> when you turned to this page. So um, this kind of hides it a little bit and then you can flip that up to see it. Um, but I definitely wanted to document uh, that story. And uh, this flip up is going to work because it'll be at the top um, of the pocket page. So I can just slide that back photo in and then let the group photo kind of hang on the front and you can flip that up. And, uh, I am using just some washi tape to uh, adhere those two photos together. If you're not following me on Instagram, uh, earlier this week, uh, Aiden hit Connor in the face with a jacket and his zipper broke his adult tooth. So we were kind of scrambling, trying to figure out what to do. Luckily, my sister is a dental assistant for a pediatric dentist over in the Bay Area. And so we called her, sent her pictures, and they've figured it was okay to wait most of the week um, until the weekend and head on over to have them fix his tooth. And so it was really nice for them, to, you know, for the for Connor to be, you know, with his auntie who he's comfortable with and her dentist is amazing, did an excellent job reconstructing his tooth. Um, both boys were able to get their teeth cleaned. So it all in the end kind of worked out. But most of our journaling and stories and photos from this week are from that trip. So there's this four by six photo of the boys in front of a giant uh, fish tank at Bass Pro Shops. Um, there's a Bass Pro over near my sister. So on the way home, I stopped in and let them uh, see the fish and grab a hat uh, and took a photo. And uh, most of the journaling will be about that little adventure that we had to take. Uh, and here you can see, I'm just pulling out different die cut pieces from those Maggie Holmes collections. Like I said, uh, most of these are from the digital collection uh, I think it's Chasing Dreams that I print out on cardstock and then use my Silhouette Cameo machine to cut out. 
which is great for projects like this because you can reprint things multiple times, you can resize things, um, mix and match, especially with Maggie Holmes, all of her collections have um, consistent colors throughout them. So you can kind of mix and match the collections. Uh, here you can see I'm kind of struggling because there's a lot of patterns going on. So I'm going to pull out one of those doilies to kind of break that up a little bit. Um, this card is just going to be a filler card. Um, the left hand side photo, let's do this. Um, that was just a photo on my way to the gym. We've been out of the gym for about five months. I finally started back in this week. And then the photo of the books is um, at our church. The boys started youth group at our new church for the first time this week. And while they were doing that, I was doing some studying as I'm going to be teaching a Bible study next week. And so I just wanted some photos to document those little moments this week and not necessarily you know photos of them at youth group or things like that but um just just a photo placeholder that then i could go in and do journaling for that so you can see here i'm kind of fussing with where you know where i want things and how to layer things the nice thing about project life is you don't necessarily have to add anything to the cards you could just do cards journaling and photos but i want to use up some of the things in my stash and i really have fun with this process so i am adding some pieces to these cards now i do want to try to stay in just one album for 2019 so i'm trying to refrain from using you know foam tape and dimensional pieces and just kind of stick to stickers and die cuts. Uh, some of you veterans might be laughing at me knowing ahead of time that I might end up in a second album, but I'm, I'm going to try this year just to stay uh, in the one. Uh, I did a lot of my fussing and picking out of things off camera. Like I said, I'm new to Project Life and so this process just takes a little bit longer for me right now because I'm just not used to it yet so I picked most of those off camera and then now I can kind of fuss with them and where I want them in the future I may do some of that decision making on camera as things kind of get uh, streamlined uh, last week you will see the video later this week for week one um, but I was working with my uh, January kit from the wild hair kits and it is way out of my comfort zone it is bright colors and geometric shapes and I really love how the layout came out. Um, but for this week, I wasn't feeling so great. And so I wanted to just stick with what was comfortable. And Maggie Holmes florals are comfortable and easy for me. Uh, so that is what I'm going with. It's funny watching this back because you sometimes see things that you don't notice um, in the moment. So like I had that pink butterfly placed up in that corner kind of off, off screen. And I wish I'd stuck with the pink rather than the mint, just because there was more contrast, but, but that's okay. I'm not worried about these layouts being perfect. Um, I'm gonna be right back at this next week with another layout. So this gives me the opportunity to kind of play around with things and experiment and just figure out what works and what doesn't work. Uh, I'm not gonna stress about a perfect project. I'm just documenting day-to-day -day photos, nothing special. Um, some special photos and moments I will pull out and do six by eight scrapbook pages in my six by eight album. Uh, and I have one of those layouts coming up um, very soon for Felicity Jane. But so you might see me pull out um, some of the photos from my project life and add it into that other album as well. Just adding some little stickers and bits and pieces now and then I'll go in with these Felicity Jane stickers to add week two. Uh, these leatherette stickers are more of a rose gold and I did use like gold stickers but I'm not I'm not upset about mixing different um, metallics and this rose gold works well with that lighter pink um, that is it, like peachy pink that's in some of the cards so that works for that. And then uh, in the top left hand corner there, I'll add the dates and I'm just using a date stamp to stamp the Sunday date at the beginning of the week and then the Saturday date at the end of the week. And then off camera, I will do my journaling on those cards and then that is it for the layout this week. So if you have any questions or comments, be sure to leave those down below. Check out the description box for links to everything that I mentioned today. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed. And until next time, thank you so much. Bye-bye.